Hello guys, I would wish to take you through the process of securing your forms in Microsoft Access. For instance, you want the user to provide a password before entering data or before viewing a certain form. Therefore, what you do, you, uh, for example, double click a certain form like this one, and therefore you will be asked for password, enter password to open registration form and therefore if you supply wrong password then you actually get an error that wrong password uh, retry then if i give the correct password then you can see i will be allowed to uh, go ahead and uh, access a certain form like now this one for m therefore i'll be taking you through that process therefore basically what you do you just go to uh, you start by creating a small form that is data that is the password capture form and therefore we can just go and use our model form this one we just remove this then after doing that you just go to this point right now you can format your form uh, the way you wish then take a text box draw a, a, a text box this is text too then go to properties of the text box once you're in the properties of the text box you can scroll up here to make sure that you have everything you want like now you can just go to this point uh, back style here you choose transparent sorry that is okay background this is you choose one pt uh, special effect you can use uh, sunken but that is just to make the text box attractive, but it is not necessary to do all of that. Therefore, after doing that, you just go again to event. Now, when you go to event, then you go to after update, this point here, after update. Therefore, you go to after update, then you choose event procedure, then you hit the three lines. Therefore, after doing that, uh, we shall type our code, our two sentence code here. Like for example, if our text is text two is if text two equals to our password. Our password is Don Chai. If it is uh, that one, then uh, do cmd dot open form. Then you give the form name. Our form name is mm then it will open in normal format therefore arc normal you just go to arc normal then else uh, you give a message box msg box that um, you have provided wrong password then retry retry then you can add VB, okay, cancel, brass, VB, VB critical, or VB information, comma, then the heading from mm -hmm. caution that way. Then from there, you terminate your code by end if. That way. Then after doing that, you can save your work. This one you can just call it password pass. That way. Then after now having this code, this is just the code that you need up to this point. But we are testing if text two equals to your password. Then if it's not, it gives an error message. And therefore, we shall just now go back to our form. This is our form. Then you can just assign something arable here like uh, enter like enter that is enter password enter password to uh, get started that way then you can format it the way you wish now uh, like now you can assign something like that then after doing that this is our form now it's our model form and therefore for me to access this one for me to access the main form that is my mm 
I have first of all to get a password that has been provided for me. Else, I will not be in a position to actually open the form. And therefore, this is how my form goes by. If I, if I type wrong password, you see, caution, you have provided wrong password. They try. And therefore, if I provide the correct password, I don't try. Then you can see I have been allowed access to this form. Then we can still go ahead to our password pass and make sure that the password is typed here is not visible. Therefore, to make that one, you supply input mask and therefore you just click on this one. Then you go to properties. Now, when you are in the properties, you click on data that is for text too. Okay, to hide the password uh, from this one, you need to click on the text box that is text two you hit on text 2 then when you hit on text 2 you just go to data then the input mask this point here input mask you hit the input mask then you choose uh, password then you click on next then finish that means that uh, when you save your work and run your form wherever you type the password here the password will not be seen since you have set the input mask to password Therefore, if you provide the wrong password, you just get a caution that um, you have provided the wrong password. But once you supply the correct password that way, then uh, automatically your form MM will be opened. Therefore, that's how you create a password protecting field to protect your data to make sure that the person who must access this form must know a certain password for uh, that is for that field therefore thank you very much for watching see you in the next video